Good morning, girls. Welcome back to the Chemistry Channel. Today we are going to start with Chapter 14, Section 1 in Holt Book and Chapter 11 in Paron's Book about Acid and Bases. Okay, there are three definitions of acids and bases according to the name of scientists who studied them. The first one is Arrhenius acid and base, the second one Bronsted Lowry acid and base, and the third one Lewis acid and base. Today we are going to talk about Arrhenius and Bronsted Lowry acid and base. Let's start with Arrhenius. Arrhenius is the third recipient of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1903. And his definition of acid is a chemical compound that increases the concentration of hydrogen ion in aqueous solution. But the hydrogen ions don't sit by themselves in water. They are going to bind with water molecule to form hydronium ion. As shown in this chemical reaction, hydrogen ion plus water produce hydronium ion. So the chemical formula for hydronium ion, H3O, positive charge. Can I say Arrhenius acid is a chemical compound that increases the concentration of hydronium ion in water? Yes. Now look at this example. You have hydrochloric acid plus water. Well, produce in the product side hydronium ion and chloride ion. So according to the Arrhenius definition, hydrochloric acid is the Arrhenius acid. Why? Because it increases the concentration of hydronium ion in the aqueous solution. Aqueous solution of acid, that means a water solution of acids. Now, there are two types of acids according to the degree of dissociation in the aqueous solution. Strong acids and weak acids. Strong acids complete dissociate into their ions in water, while weak acids partially dissociate into their ions in water. Okay, there are only a few seven strong acids, so many students choose to memorize them and all the other acids are weak. The strong acids are hydroiodic acid, perichloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, chloric acid in addition to nitric acid. And the weak acids are phosphoric acid, hydrofluoric acid, acetic acid, etc. Now, both strong acids and weak acids will produce hydronium ion in the product side. But the main difference here, the strong acid reaction are irreversible one way. Why? Because the all dissolved compound will present in aqueous solution as ions. While in weak acid reaction, they are reversible two way why because a small amount of dissolved compound will present in aqueous solution as ions okay what about Arrhenius base Arrhenius base is a chemical compound that increases the concentration of hydroxide ion in the aqueous solution the chemical formula for hydroxide ion o h negative charge now look at this example Sodium hydroxide will dissociate in water to produce sodium ion and hydroxide ion. So according to the Arrhenius space definition, sodium hydroxide here is the Arrhenius space. Why? Because it increases the concentration of hydroxide ion in the aqueous solution. Aqueous solution of bases, that means water solution of bases. Like I said, there are two types of bases according to the degree of dissociation in the aqueous solution, strong bases and weak bases. Strong bases complete dissociate into their ions in water, while weak bases partially dissociate into their ions in water. The strong bases are calcium hydroxide, barium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, so strong acid will end with hydroxide as a suffix. While the common example of weak base is ammonia in H3. Again, both strong and weak bases uh, will produce hydroxide ion in the product side. But the main difference here, the strong bases reaction are irreversible one way because all dissolved compound will present in the aqueous solution as ions. 
and the weak bases reaction are reversible two way why because a small amount of the dissolved compound will be present in the aqueous solution as ions okay now the second definition of acid and base is a bronsted lowery acid and base bronsted lowery acid is a molecule or ion that is a proton donor proton that means hydrogen ion Bronsted lowery base is a molecule or ion that is a proton acceptor. Now, look at this example. You have hydrochloric acid plus ammonia will produce ammonium ion and chloride ion. In this example, hydrochloric acid is a proton donor. Hydrochloric acid donates proton to ammonia, and ammonia accepts the proton from hydrochloric acid. So, according to the Bronsted lowery definition, HCl is a proton donor, so Bronsted lowery acid. And ammonia is a proton acceptor, so is a pro the bronsted lowery base. Now, the bronsted lowery theory describes acid base interaction in terms of proton transfer between chemical species. A bronsted lowery acid is any species that can donate a proton, like hydrochloric acid, and base is any species that can accept a proton, like ammonia. In terms of chemical structure, this means that any uh, bronsted lowery acid must contain a hydrogen atom, right? That can dissociate as a proton like HCl. And in order to accept a proton, a bronsted lowery base must have at least one lone pair of electrons to form a new bond with a proton like ammonia. Ammonia has lone pair of electrons. So using the bronsted lowery definition, an acid-base reaction is any reaction in which a proton is transferred from acid to base. Now, look at these examples. The first one, hydrochloric acid and water. In this example, hydrochloric acid donates a proton to water and water accepts the proton. So, hydrochloric acid is the bronsted lowery acid and water is a bronsted lowery base. The second example, water plus ammonia will produce ammonium ion and hydroxide ion. So, water donates proton to ammonia. So, water is the bronsted lowery acid. And ammonia accepts the proton from water to form ammonium ion in the product. So, ammonia here is, a, is the bronsted lowery base. Don't forget that uh, water can act as acid or base because it is amphoteric substance. Thank you and see you tomorrow.